is up my Skyrim family, it's your long lost son Jellybean. Today I've got a little bit of a treat for you. And I hope everybody is having a blessed day. Today we're going to be looking at Everfall Island. It's another island in the sky. So we start, I'll show you here on the map before we get started crossing this lengthy bridge. So here we are here. This is where the house is. But we start over here. So this is where we are right now. Eventually we're going to end up in the house following this. Now this is in the sky. It's not on land. <laughs> so as you can see there is a little path to get to it. So let's cross the walk. Now if you're afraid of heights. <laughs> this might be a little much for you. I have to go slow because I'm not too good with my controller. Whoa, 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 over, over. To give you an idea, there's how high up we are. And we still have to go way up there. So now, I don't know how they managed to get this rock to float in the air to hold the bridge up, but they did. We get across this little bridge. There's a little sitting area here. Quite a ways up so far. There's still more way, a ways to go yet, so let's keep going. Yes, we're eventually going to go up there. That is not the house, believe it or not. But that's where we're going to head to first. We're going to head up there first. So we'll cross over this little drawbridge. Go here to the right. And we're going to head up to that little area up there that we just saw. There's the house right there below us. So up here, you're going to find got your alchemy and your enchanting table. I just wish it was a little clearer view, but look how beautiful that is up here. There's the bridge we walked across. Oh, it's just absolutely beautiful. So let's head down to the house. Now the house doesn't have room for followers, doesn't have room for children. It's just enough for you, you know, your own little paradise in the sky. There is some great features and well, there's a couple nice features in the basement. Well they're not features, they're just a couple neat items, let's say a couple neat items. They're not really features, they're just a couple really neat items. Now look at all the waterfalls you're surrounded by. So you can open this gate and come down here. Look at this. What the, isn't this a perfect place just to sit, grab a good book, something to read, and just watch these waterfalls. Look at this. Isn't that just absolutely incredible? Now there are these little planks, you can walk all the way around to the house. And go over to the other side. Just enjoying the view. That's absolutely incredible. So we're gonna head into the house now. I left the door open, silly me. But this is your living area. Really no furniture here. <laughs> You got a couple weapons racks over there. Nice little fireplace. We'll head upstairs in a minute. Now this leads out to your smelter. Nice little hot tub. And then a little bench to sit here. And look at look at this. I I don't know about you people, but 
I could sit here for hours. Just sit for hours and hours. Oh, that's just absolutely breathtaking. No, not Lydia. Not now, people. And you have this neat little hot tub. And as you notice, there are no loading doors. And another thing that's really nice is the house is absolutely free. So here we have the bedroom. Like I said, there's just enough room for you. There's really no room for followers. Unless you have like some bed rolls. I guess if you had some bed rolls again. Nice little work bench here. A couple spell books. But then again, you get this incredible view through the window again. Oh, that's just absolutely incredible. So you got some weapon racks in here. Let's just close that door. So let's head upstairs. And then we'll, and then there is a basement. And like I said, there's a couple of neat items down in the basement. I think you guys are gonna really kick out of. Look at this up here. Some more weapons racks. Look what you come out here. Look at this. This is such a picturesque, perfect setting. So you have all your crap you need your canning rack, grinding wheel, you got your anvil and your workbench over there. Some alchemy ingredients over here that you can take. So there's only one more area left to see. Oh, look at this up here. So we're gonna head down to the basement. So here we are, we're in the basement now. It's, it's not very large. There's the two features. Now I'm gonna get closer to those pictures because there's something really amazing about these pictures. There's 3D. They're actual replicas. This one is a replica of the island. This one's a Zora. Oh, really, really. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you. I'll love you. Everyone will love you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Move your mouse a little to the right. Hit that bell icon so you can notify each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for